What is going on toy fam? Project Piper Customs here and welcome back once again to the Custom Cave. And in this episode we're taking a little detour from the Endgame Final Battle lineup and we're going to hit you with some Bro Thor Builder Figure action from Hasbro Marvel Legends latest Endgame Wave. And we're going to give him the custom once over. And we're going to do that with this. And with this. Let's go. All right, as you can see here, I do have a 112 soft goods version of the outfit that he's sporting right there. Okay, so we have the robe, we have the hoodie, we have the trousers, and by the looks of things, that looks like to be a belly stuffer. Okay, so let's bust this open. Now, before I do, I just want to let you know, I got this off a guy on Facebook. Uh, under the name of Ibat Ibat. I will leave a link in here in the description for his Facebook page. And he sells these. He makes them himself and he's based in Malaysia. And I spotted him and these are, you know, a fair price. I forget what I paid for it. But he is making the second batch and has just put up a pre order for a second batch of these right now. So if you can head on over there, uh, link again in the description and you can cop yourself a set. It's a good price. And uh, yeah. So let's look at see what we got with it. All right, let's have a look. So, okay, uh, here we go. Here is the robe with the gold stripes. And yes, as I suspected, bendy wire on either side, okay? Let's stretch out a bit. Yeah, so you've got bendy wire that runs all the way around, okay? Which is awesome. So you can manipulate it however you like. Okay, so there we have the robe, we have the trousers, pretty much identical design, which flex, and we have a Velcro front, all right, so there we are, nice and baggy, we have the hoodie, okay, which is uh, pretty sweet, you've even got the, uh, the toggles, they move up and down, I'm not sure if it actually works and pulling it closed, I think it does a little bit, but I don't want to rip it. So here we have the hoodie, which is great. Nice front pocket too. A bit of red fluff from the robe, I guess, in the packet. And then of course, yeah, we have the, which has it right, it is the belly stuffer. And it has a Velcro strap. Okay, so you shove that around the belly of the figure you want to use. There you go, gives him some extra stuffing. That is what we get with the set. Now, I went with the Submariner as a base body. I'm not gonna just stuff all this on top of him. As you can see, it's all sculpted on. Majority, you can take this off, but especially in the arms and the trousers. I wanted to go with a clean naked body myself. And I went with the Submariner because obviously majority of his torso, torso is obviously exposed, apart from the trunks and the uh, the gauntlets. Um, but yeah, it, this will probably be work, be able to work on any sort of standard bucky cap uh, Marvel Legend if you have one. I personally just went for an extra Submariner. Um, but yeah, if you have a, a spare um, bucky cap mold, or I forget what buck this is in particular, um, but lying around as fodder, then you can use that, no problems at all. Uh, but I went for something that was kind of similar in height, so as you can see, to get the camera lined up a bit better. Okay, they are, apart from the hair and head sculpt, pretty much arm to arm, very, very similar in height. That's why I went for this particular one instead. So obviously what we're gonna do is we're gonna obviously swap out the hands. I'm going to heat up the feet and pop them off. Do the same here so I can get his Crocs onto here. That should be pretty simple. And uh, obviously, yeah, before we do any of this and dressing him, after all of that, we're gonna give both his head sculpts, bye bye, this one and this one, we're gonna give him a full repaint, okay, especially on that hair. All right, so we're gonna go that little bit of extra mile. You could just simply just dress up a regular bucky cap and stick the head onto it and bob's your uncle, that is up to you. I am going to be giving the head sculpts a full repaint at the same time and give it the full treatment. Okay, that's what we do here in the cave. All right, so let's get started.
there you have it. Another one to add to the list on the lineup of custom endgame Marvel Legends. Obviously, except for the ZD Toys Hulk over there, but I'm really, really loving the way that this soft goods, uh, this soft goods version of the outfit really looks on him. Uh, I believe the Submariner body works really, really well uh, as an alternate, and of course with the uh, added uh, belly padding, you know, it just gives it that exact look that he has in the movie. And uh, yeah, with the repaint of the heads, I'm extremely happy with how this came out. And obviously the Marvel Legends. Infinity War Thor, which I use to customize into the end game, is an extremely tall figure. So obviously, if you get him off of the podium, he's going to be slightly shorter. It's a shame. So hopefully, we'll see an end game version of that from Marvel Legends. Um, but yeah, in terms of the rest of the lineup, he looks brilliant. I love it. He, he just fits straight in. So extremely happy, and I can't wait to get some shots of this guy and put him in the display. All right, so that is it for another episode of the Custom Cave. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And yeah. With the impending YouTube apocalypse, um, I will be doing an update video, but basically, yeah, I'm going to be uploading brand new content onto IGTV, that's Instagram TV, okay, so if you already follow me on Instagram, you're going to go see, you're going to see the new content anyway, okay, so you don't have to do anything, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do so, it is at Project Piper Customs, and there you'll be seeing my new content obviously you're seeing this on YouTube now so up until January I am uploading new content as well as IGTV but just to be on the safe side uh, even with all these other videos saying hold up you know it might not be as bad as what we thought I'm just not taking any risks whatsoever so come January if nothing changes and uh, before these um, consequences start hitting I will be pulling all of my content off and uploading new content onto IGTV and possibly some of the older stuff as well if you want to go back and check that out and uh, yeah and that way I can observe without being in the firing line as well to just see how things play out if everything gets sorted and amended afterwards then I'll just upload everything back again I'm not too worried about the views I just enjoy making this content for you guys so there it is hope you enjoyed this one and yeah look forward to the shot at the end and yeah thanks very much for sticking around and appreciate it so until next time 